Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China. And right now I'm in Villa Medellin here in Nyabuhanse village. And today I have a very, very special guest. You'll all love her, you know her, she's very famous. Ladies and gentlemen, I even black words to introduce her. Let me let me let me refresh because I'm super excited for this moment. Ladies and gentlemen, the Queen, all the way from Argentina, the country that won the World Cup, the supermodel, super... <laughs> thank you so much, thank you for those words. Yeah. Wow, thank yeah. you, thank yeah. you. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. first of all, uh, thank yeah. you for allowing my, uh, us to be yeah. have a, a time with you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I come from China yeah. and you come from Argentina. Yeah. So tell me, how is it you being here for the first time in, uh -huh. Kenya, in Africa? Is this yeah. first time in Africa? First time in Africa. Yes. Okay. Yes. How is the experience so far? Oh, very nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. So far, I've only been here mm -hmm. in, in, in the villa. Mm -hmm. So I don't know a lot mm -hmm. about the continent yet, but mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to, to travel around. Yeah. yeah. And how is the life here in Nyabuhanke? How is the village life here? It's very nice, very mm -hmm. nice, mm -hmm. very chill. Mm -hmm. Um, peaceful. Well, we are. We were in the middle of a huge party, you yes. know. But now that it's over, mm -hmm. life here is very simple. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. So I really like it. Yeah. How do you compare Africa and uh, Argentina, especially Kenya and Argentina? Yeah. Yeah. How, how, what's the comparison? So I don't really compare mm -hmm. because every place is unique. Mm -hmm. It's very different, also. Um, but I do feel that we have some similarities and in terms of the soil uh -huh. being very, very f fertile. Uh -huh. um, the weather is very different. You know, in Argentina we have four seasons. Uh -huh. You can notice every single season yeah. uh, in terms of the weather. Uh -huh. And here it's like summer yeah. all the all year. The and that's, that's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. culture also is very different, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 And the, what, what you are saying actually is so... Uh, uh, I, I, I think it's the same. Yeah. In China, when I was living, it was just winter. Uh -huh. And the, the, it was very, very cold. Okay. I've never experienced winter in okay. China, but I experienced a few days and it's yeah. very extreme. But I love the weather in Africa. I don't uh -huh. know if you love the weather here in Africa. Yes, yes, I love it because I'm a, I'm a summer person. A summer I person. love hot weather. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather be, you know, in. Uh, like this, you know, free, barefoot, <laughs> yeah. with less clothes, mm -hmm. rather than just covering myself mm -hmm. with a lot of clothes. Yeah. 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 Also, it's a little bit, I love the sun, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, the winter it can be hard, you know. Okay. People, is, you're not that that happy, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So, so yeah, I prefer. I love this weather here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. Um, when I was arriving in China, yeah. as a black person, yeah. Um, first of all, the plane from Nairobi to Guangzhou. Yeah. Uh, that was okay because most of the Chinese were used to seeing black. Yeah. And then I took a second flight from uh, Guangzhou to Kunming. So I had slept and then there was some turbulence yeah. in, the, in, the, in the plane. In the plane. Yeah. So when I woke up, I found uh, the Chinese were looking at me. The people at the back of the seat wanted to see me. And first of all, I felt so very weird at first. Uh -huh. And then when I landed there, they wanted to record me. They wanted to take pictures. They wanted to touch my skin. Yeah. But uh, my friends told me um, most of the Chinese, because China is open to the world, yeah. it's their first time they are seeing a foreigner or a black person. Uh -huh. So uh, at first I felt odd, but I got used to it. Yeah. So tell me. What is the experience? Did you get any experience as a white person uh -huh. coming to Africa? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I, 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 people call me the Musungu. <laughs> <laughs> the Musungu. All the time, especially uh -huh. the kids. Uh -huh. I can get, especially, you know, when we are in the, maybe we go to Nyauhanse uh -huh. Center, uh -huh. Migori, or, you know, uh -huh. or maybe we just go dive in the village, uh -huh. you know, yeah. for adventures and the villagers. I guess that sometimes, uh, the other day we met a group of kids, they were picking up some sticks, okay. some wood, you know, mm -hmm. and it looks like they were never seen a white, white person, person before, yeah. so yeah. they wanted to touch my skin, yeah. they wanted to greet me with a hand, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. it's, it's really nice, they're always like so impressive. Yeah. Every time that I go out mm -hmm. and we are around, mm -hmm. I hear Musanga, 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 <laughs> like they get very excited. Yeah. Yeah. Do they, also, uh, that's the same experience I also got. Do they ask to touch your hair? Because you have very unique hair. 
Yeah, well, now that I'm, I'm having more like an African bread, uh -huh, you know, it's, uh -huh. no, mostly my, my hands, you know, they uh -huh. want to touch my hands. Okay. That's why they. Yeah. yeah. Are, are you used to such an experience or the first time you experienced something? Are no, something it's actually the first time, the first time, because uh -huh. I've, I've been traveling, but I've like the same, same skin color, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the first time where, where I'm in a place where everybody has a, a different color, you yeah, know, yeah, than, yeah. than my skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what is the biggest culture shock you have received right here? Uh, so the village, the village culture mm -hmm. is, is quite different from mm -hmm. what I'm used to mm -hmm. in many, many different things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, in terms of maybe marriage and kids and mm -hmm. all of these things, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, we behave very, very different. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I guess those things in terms most especially mm -hmm. Because I'm Mara's partner, yeah. so so mm -hmm. they see us as a couple and yeah. they expect things, you yeah. know, yeah. to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in, if we were in Argentina, he wouldn't be having any of this uh, situation. Oh you know? no, like visitors, nobody, no party. Nobody. No, 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 oh. no. I mean, mm -hmm. in terms of us being together, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. If he was in Argentina, nobody would be pressuring him uh, okay. to do things. Oh, you should marry her. Mm -hmm. You should things like this, you yeah, know. Yeah. And here, I, I'm experiencing these things because it's very strong yeah. in the in, in the culture. So yeah. 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 Uh, speaking about culture, I follow you two, two days ago. You had posted about uh, you had a blog. And can you watch her out at uh -huh. Roca? Roca Bre Brera Travels. Roca Brera Travels. Yeah. Your content was about uh, you are shocked that polygamy is really in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. What are you? I know you explained, or maybe you came to know about it. Yeah. How, what do you think about that? Uh, well, it's, it's very different. It's it's um it's not something that I'm used to. Mm -hmm. That is not even allowed in my country. Okay. So is, is it illegal? It is. It doesn't exist. It's oh. not even that it's illegal. Mm -hmm. It can exist maybe in open. In, in, in relationships like boyfriend and girlfriends mm -hmm. that without marriage, okay. you know, without yeah. marriage in between. Mm -hmm. But this this polygamy works as the woman can also be with other men, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and the men can be. It's like a free free relationship, oh, okay. you know. Yeah. But it doesn't exist mm -hmm. polygamy in terms of law, you know, like mm -hmm. you can marry more than one woman, mm -hmm. more than one person. Mm -hmm. That doesn't exist in my culture. Mm -hmm. No, it's just monogamy relationship. You can only marry one person. Okay. Yeah. 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 Does it have any effects here in Africa now that you've interacted with people? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? I don't. I don't. I don't think that I'm. I'm someone to judge mm -hmm. if it's good or mm -hmm. bad. Mm -hmm. It's just something that. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not something that I would choose. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. And uh, I've been following also. First of all, uh, as I told you before, yeah. when I saw you your music on YouTube and on some social media spaces. Yeah. But uh, then I didn't know you were Marwa's uh -huh. And uh, you are a musician first. Yeah. But uh, right now you do uh, a cocktail of things. Yeah. 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 Which yeah. one do you like to do most? Uh, so I like everything because I'm, I feel like I'm multi-talent, you know, I love to do many different things mm -hmm. and I also feel like they are very connected, mm -hmm. like also I always knew that music, my music career can be very connected to my travel mm -hmm. life mm -hmm. and, and so I really do, and now that I'm blogging more my life, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. I, I didn't, I, I wasn't used to do that. Mm -hmm. My content was more music, music. specifically, mm -hmm. and now I'm maybe more vlogging my life and mm -hmm. showing who I am, you know, as yeah. a person. Yeah. I'm having a lot of fun, yeah, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. So yeah. which one will you prefer? Will you prefer music? Will you prefer podcast? Will you prefer vlogging from now moving forward? I will, I will stick to every, every all of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. not that I will quick something and mm -hmm. I will stop doing something. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. because that's part of me. It's mm -hmm. my life. Yeah. It's what I want to do mm -hmm. in life. So yeah. it's not that I'm quicking something. Mm -hmm. I will just stick. Maybe I'm, I'm a little bit post with my with my podcast, mm -hmm. um, but I I do want to put more energy mm -hmm. on it mm -hmm. and. and I'm very soon to start launching. My podcast is in Spanish right now. Oh, not in English. No, but I'm I'm very soon to start posting in in, in English mm -hmm. English episode. Okay. It was my idea before, you know, but it took me it took me a while to create my podcast, mm -hmm. organize it, mm -hmm. everything, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. create every every episode mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, I'm very soon to launch 
the the English episodes and mm-hmm. yes I will stick I will stick to to all of it you yeah, know yeah, yeah. of course I divide my energy sometimes I do I want to do more of something mm-hmm. sometimes I, I want to do more of something else yeah, like yeah. Uh, in this moment maybe majority of my energy is mm-hmm. in blogging mm-hmm. and traveling mm-hmm. and I'm also taking a break from from music in terms of singing mm-hmm. Cause, cause I was singing almost every day in mm-hmm. Mexico, mm-hmm. and also I needed a break, you know. Yeah. So for now, I'm I'm more uh, into blogging mm-hmm. and uh, traveling, mm-hmm. cause I wanted I wanted also to reactivate my 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 traveler life, mm-hmm. cause I was I was living in the same place place for two years, mm-hmm. and I wanted to go out and start moving again. Yeah. So I will I will be doing that. Yeah. 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 You know, so many people are inspired by you your stories so I think the podcast I would love to watch your podcast uh-huh. but the news or maybe does it have subtitles so no so the my, my uh, Spanish episodes I have them just in Spanish it's actually the podcast is just an audio you know uh-huh. um, so you can find it on Spotify uh-huh. and YouTube in Morocco data travels uh-huh. uh, that's that's where you find the, the podcast uh-huh. but uh, the English episode will be only podcast, so it's just audio mm-hmm. on Spotify, but mm-hmm. I will do video podcast mm-hmm. on YouTube. Mm-hmm. So if you wanna, if you're driving and mm-hmm. you wanna just hear, you go to Spotify. Mm-hmm. Or if you have, if you're in the phone or mm-hmm. the TV mm-hmm. and you wanna also watch me while I'm speaking, yeah. you can go to Roca Vereda Travels, mm-hmm. and the podcast new episode is coming very soon. Yeah. My podcast name is The Sound of My Voice. The Sound of My Voice. Exactly, oh, yes. Awesome. And I talk a lot about different topics, mm-hmm. um, personal stories, you know, my, my, my different stories. I also... Um, I have I have guests sometimes mm-hmm. you know we talk about different topics mm-hmm. like my last episode uh, it was in Spanish but it was amazing with a friend from Mexico we mm-hmm. were talking about finances and the energy of money mm-hmm. um, also um, I always try to bring the idea of the power of the voice mm-hmm. you know I have an episode mm-hmm. uh, which is called the power of words mm-hmm. because words are very very powerful mm-hmm. so in sometimes we don't even we're not even aware mm-hmm. you know of what we are saying yeah. when we say something mm-hmm. we are just creating mm-hmm. magic with our words you yeah. know yeah. Uh, you can bless someone mm-hmm. or you can just send them to to not nice places yeah. you know yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> you know what I mean yeah. Yeah. so yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I incentivate uh, through my podcast mm-hmm. the idea of also be more connected to our voice, mm-hmm. to speak our truth. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of people that maybe is very shy, you know, to, to express their emotions, mm-hmm. things like this. Mm-hmm. Um, meditation, guided meditations mm-hmm. also. Mm-hmm. And yeah, many ideas that yeah. I will be bringing yeah. uh, step I'll, by step. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to see that. Now that you're in Africa, in Villa Medellin, yeah. because this pronunciation of L is G, J in So, Spanish. me as an Argentinian, mm-hmm. I will pronounce Villa Medellin. Villa. Villa Medellin. V, v for B. Villa. Villa, yeah. Villa. Villa, yeah. Villa, mm-hmm. yeah. Villa well, if uh, Argentinian, Argentinian, I would say Villa Medellin. Villa Medellin. What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but for now, mm-hmm. is more than, more than okay. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah. Double yeah. L can sound like a sh, you know. Okay, all right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, will you come back here again? What's your, what's your plan now that you're here? Do you want to be here full time to relocate to Africa, or you want to visit both homes once in a while? So, Argentina is not my home anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, I left Argentina three years ago. Mm-hmm. And I just go to visit my family mm-hmm. once in a while, mm-hmm. uh, but I don't see myself living in Argentina long term. Like oh. I, I said goodbye to Argentina okay, okay. three years ago. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you will relocate yeah, to Africa yeah. fully and travel the world. Yeah, probably yes. Okay. Yes. Can you apply yeah. for dual citizenship? Because here in in, in uh-huh. Kenya we can give you the chance to apply for dual citizenship. Uh-huh. Do you want to be a Kenyan citizen? I'm not even thinking about it mm-hmm. about it yet. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's, I guess I just arrived. You know, so, mm-hmm. and uh, maybe that's something that maybe I want to do in the future. Yeah. I don't know because also. From January we have free visas. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. So that's also very helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms, if I if I want uh, the 
residents, Kenyan residents. Mm -hmm. I will see if it, if it's really like uh, something that I need. Mm -hmm. For sure, I will. Mm -hmm. But those things maybe are more like uh, um, like I I tend to do them when I really need it. Okay. You know. Yeah. For now, mm -hmm. my Argentinian passport is really really good mm -hmm. and. and it helps me. I love being an Argentinian. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Argentinian passport gives you access to so many countries. So actually, it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's very powerful. I think I have access to like 120 countries. What? Yes. So that's more than enough. Yes. More than enough. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. It's good. Mm. It's good. Is there yeah. that one place in Kenya you'd like to visit? Is in Kenya, mm -hmm. in Kenya, well, I don't know, mm -hmm. in Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, but in Africa, mm -hmm. in general, mm -hmm. it's for sure Egypt. Egypt is one of my dreams. Mm -hmm. And I do want to go to Madagascar because I dream about getting to know the Baobao trees. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, also, well, I want to go to Mombasa here in Kenya. Oh, I want to go to Mombasa, yeah, yeah. you know, to the beach areas. Mm -hmm. I love the beach. Okay. So I would like to see that. And I would love to do safari. Safari. Also. Yeah, yeah, probably. I don't know if, if, if that happens maybe here in mm -hmm. Kenya mm -hmm. or maybe in Tanzania. It depends mm -hmm. where the animals are, you know. I think maybe if you get to the wild beast migration, uh -huh. it will be the best experience. Yeah, I, I, I heard that it's like around August. Right? Yeah, August. 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 Okay. Now, I don't know maybe if you will go just to Masai Mara because it's uh -huh. around this place yes, to experience yes. that safari. Yes. Because most of uh, people from your country, they come to our country yes. for the Masai Mara. For the Mas Masai, Yeah, yes. it's very, very famous. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. And yeah. would you wish to come to China someday? Yeah, for sure, for okay, sure. Okay. I don't have a no for any place, okay, you know. Yeah. Every place mm -hmm. I would like to go. Yeah. Every place. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, uh, it's my first time going to China, and I'm loving it. No, they have a very pristine culture, okay. and uh, in terms of vlogging, China is unexplored. Okay. Yeah, so if you come to China, it will be amazing. All right. Yeah, all and right. I would like to meet yeah, you yeah. in China. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah Mara hasn't been in China yet. And uh, yeah. he, he, the last time he came to China, he was, it was a bad experience. Uh -huh. Yeah, because he ended up being deported. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what happened then. Yeah. He just arrived in Hong Kong and he was deported back. Okay, yes. Maybe yes, next yes, time yeah. things will be better. Yeah, yeah right. because I know the Chinese are a bit sensitive. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, but uh, we sorry that that happened. But okay. in the future, I'm sure he'll come to amazing places. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, all what right. do you say to my fans? <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, everybody, you it was a pleasure to meet you. Mm -hmm. uh, you can follow my journey also in Ro Cabrera Travels mm -hmm. or Ro Cabrera Music. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where you can hear me singing. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for hosting me You're on your welcome. channel. It was a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And I hope to see you soon. So, okay, before you go, can you say yeah. this is an auto in China? This is an auto in China. Hey. In Kenya. In Middle Asia. <laughs> Yay! Now let me tell you how to say it in Chinese. Yeah. And then we will we'll say it in Spanish. Okay. So in, in, in Chinese is Jagashi Anoto Zai Jongo. Oh, that was long. Okay, we say it slowly. Yeah. Say Jagashi. Jagashi. Anoto. Anoto. Zai. Zai. Jongo. Jongo. Yeah, so that, is, that means this is Anoto in China. Okay. How about in Spanish? Esto es Anoto in China. Esto es Anoto in China. China. Awesome. Yeah. Very amazing. Thank you so much for yeah, featuring on my vlog. Yeah, I really appreciate it. It was nice having you. Merry Christmas. All the best in your relationship with Marwa Thank as you. we explore the world through your channel and Thank also you. through my channel. Yeah. I, I appreciate this. I don't take it for granted. Right. You are the best guest I've received so far on Thank my channel. You. Thank you. you are very lovely. Thank you. Okay, kudos. Bye-bye. Hey. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Maybe we get somebody to take us a thumbnail. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Uh, why? Kibe? Kibe? Have you come to take thumbnail? So that was it. I'm in Villa Medellin and Kibe is coming to take us a thumbnail. Come take us a thumbnail. A thumbnail is the photo that appears where... Uh, yeah, Kibe will take us a thumbnail. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Kibe, where can we get a good, good thumbnail? This way. Okay, this way. We face this way? You face a take from this one. Oh, from this one.
and Marwa likes to take many. Also take a photo for my Instagram. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, 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 I wish you all the best. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. And this is Why Not Kibe? Yes, sir. This is Kibe. We, we, we go there because of the light. All right. Yeah, we are dark. <laughs> what's up, what's up, guys? This is Kibe, mm -hmm. the doctor around this place. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm YouTube. I go by the name Why Not Kibe. Why Not Kibe? Yes, sir. Awesome. Yeah. Now, we were to do a vlog with him, but now we are already doing it. So we flow yeah, so okay. that it will be a whole episode of Rosa Cabrera and you. All right. So, how have you been? Bro, I've been great. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, everything is good so far. Yeah. We're growing over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're really thankful of Marwa and the people around. Yeah, but first, I feel like uh, we need to do a proper introduction because you have done a very, very amazing job. Yes, sir. Now, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I want to introduce you to the most amazing doctor, the person in charge of I am Marwa's health, the person who took care of you guys who came here who are sick. The gentleman, the man with the deep voice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for why not? Keep it. <laughs> wow, man, that's a huge introduction. Bro. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So yeah. Once again, thank you so much for hosting me in your channel. Mm -hmm. So this is the doctor around this place. Mm -hmm. My name is Why Kibe. Mm -hmm. On YouTube, I go by the name Why Not Kibe. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, and I'm intrigued mm -hmm. by the name. Yeah. Why not Kibe? Why not Kibe? Yeah. It is really amazing. Most people are really excited about that name. Yeah. yeah. First of all, it's very unique yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's very intriguing because, yeah. you know, in the night where I'm staying at the BNB, yeah. I'm saying, so why not keep it? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like this intriguing question. Yeah. It's actually a good name. Yeah, it's a why, good not name. Yes, so why not keep it? Why not keep it? Why not keep it? Okay. Um, the first time I came here, I came here on seven, around 16th or 17th of November, mm -hmm. just a day or two before the party. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I came here, uh, uh, I was coming to volunteer my services as a medical practitioner over here mm -hmm. because I'm a very good fan of Marwa. Mm -hmm. I'm a very, these guys are very loving, very compassionate. Mm -hmm. So I think we share the same attributes because I'm also very compassionate and I think I'm a caring and loving person too. Mm -hmm. So I was like, uh, why not come to the party and help uh, offer my medical services mm -hmm. for free? Mm -hmm. So I came, uh, reaching here, everybody of course is on YouTube, yeah. even the, the gate man, yeah. the, the crowd man, the yeah. people dealing with, even the garden, everybody, uh, everybody, everybody is, is on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. So first I was like, why not, why not join the club, so mm. why, not why, not, not? why not, why <laughs> not, why not, <laughs> oh so that's how you came with the name, that's how I came why with not it, why not keep it, and then again I was like, uh, if great things can be done, mm -hmm. if, if Manro can do all these great things, mm -hmm. if people can do all these great things, mm -hmm. why not you, why yeah. not do it, yeah. so yeah. why not me, why, 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 why not, mm -hmm. so that's how I came with all about that. And so far, how has been your experiences? Bro, my First experience. of all, experiences during the party. Yeah. And after, did you come before or after? I came before. So I, I want you before. to give us three faces. The, your experience uh, before. before the party, during, the, during party. the party, and after the party. All right. Mm -hmm. So my experience before the party. Mm -hmm. So arriving this place, mm -hmm. it was just a chill place, but now the mood was coming in because visitors were in, were now coming in, mm -hmm. international visitors were around. People are preparing for the party. So at first, I, uh, because I never knew anybody, mm -hmm. but uh, imagine to a surprise, I, I, the first person I met at the gate was Maro. After what just in, entering the gate like this. Did you know you were coming? No, I didn't. didn't. Even he didn't know who I am. Okay. So he was like, uh, hey, Mura, I'm <laughs> Mura is the uh, mood. You yes. know, a person with circumstances. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah that's what I've been told oh. about that name, Mura. So yeah, mm -hmm. it greeted me, mm -hmm. and then uh, he welcomed me into this place. Mm -hmm. uh, Came, I met some few guys, I met only Mawira, mm -hmm. I met some other guys, but I was still lonely. Mm -hmm. I, I just sat alone, mm -hmm. and I just studied the area mm -hmm. until the next day now, mm -hmm. the, 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 the morning, the morning of that party day. Mm -hmm. That's when I, I was introduced well to the place around mm -hmm. and then I explained who I am. But before I came, I had written an email to the PA mm -hmm. I told her who I am, what I'll be coming. I'll be coming to do this and this. But again, I booked my ticket mm -hmm. because we had a ticket for the party. Yeah. Just to be safe. Mm -hmm. So I just came. Mm -hmm. So arriving here, I met the PA. Mm -hmm. The PA knew who I, who I was. Mm -hmm. she, introduced, see, she introduced me to the committee. Mm -hmm. I was accepted in as the doctor around this mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. 
I was introduced to the medical department mm -hmm. and that's how I came into the medical department. So mm -hmm. I was introduced into it mm -hmm. and I became the doctor of the medical department. Mm -hmm. And then we started the party now mm -hmm. as they are now had a role over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, yes, we were head of the clinic with uh, Jamie, mm -hmm. and then we had a, a hospital covering us called Moshi Medical Center. Moshi? Yes. Is that's it in Tanzania? No, it's in Nyabuhansa. Okay. It's one of the biggest hospitals in Nyabuhansa. Mm -hmm. So there are, the, there are the guys providing us with equipment and so many other things. Mm -hmm. But again, I came with my own supplies. Mm -hmm. I came with my own medical supplies. Mm -hmm. I came with everything. Okay. So we came, we joined the hands together. Mm -hmm. I started my channel already, of course. Mm -hmm. Started doing YouTube and, of course, helping the sick people around. Mm -hmm. and the party went by day by day. We grew as we, as we grew as we, we grew day by day. Mm -hmm. As we get to know more people, I get to know more YouTubers. I get to interact with more people. Mm -hmm. We knew each other with Marwa now very well. Mm -hmm. Knew who I was. Mm -hmm. Everything was well. Mm -hmm. So the party we enjoyed. The party as everyone now. Mm -hmm. The party rolled, the party rolled, all was good, not so many cases, mm -hmm. not so many, uh, we just had some simple, a lot of cases were flu cases, mm -hmm. cuts, injuries, mm -hmm. um, some abdominal disturbances, mm -hmm. one or two. Uh, the party went well, no much medical emergencies, actually no medical emergencies, mm -hmm. a case of malaria mm -hmm. which was handled just over here. Mm -hmm. So we had everything set, mm -hmm. the party went by, mm -hmm. of course nothing much until the end of the party, we were growing as a for me, it took me 12 days uh -huh. to get from three subscribers. Uh -huh. I can say zero because when I started my channel, yeah, the yeah. first people who subscribed were the people around me in the clinic. Oh, okay. Only three people. Uh -huh. But after Marwa gave, gave me a shout out, uh -huh. I went to around 800 what? within the next day. Uh -huh. And bro, within 10 days, I was, I was already past 1,000. Oh my goodness. So that was really amazing. Uh -huh. That's how I grew on my YouTube channel. Uh -huh. I started doing videos every day. Uh -huh. We became now YouTubers. <laughs> that's, the world, that's when the world of YouTube began. Yeah. Or rather, the journey of YouTube began. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we went on. The party just fl flowed very well mm -hmm. until now the end of the party. Mm -hmm. Not towards the end of the party, uh, Marwa felt a little bit sick. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was there as the main doctor. Mm -hmm. So I had to see him. Mm -hmm. I had to see him, give him some injections, give mm him -hmm. some medications. Mm -hmm until the end of the party, uh -huh. but now I still I had to monitor him. Okay. That's why I'm still here. Okay. I'm still monitoring Maro, Maro uh -huh. I'm the doctor around this place uh -huh. yet still. Uh -huh. And we're still making videos, growing our YouTube channels. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yeah. That is it. Yeah. I, I totally relate with what you're saying, because sometimes I, I was on the road, that, yeah. uh, back in was it 2017, mm. I was on the road for a very, very long time. Mm. And then my body just shut down. Now I can relate with uh, Marwa's case yeah, because it's been, been I started with watching him when he was going to Jamaica, mm -hmm. to America, yeah. from America to Kenya, mm -hmm. now coming here trying to finish everything, dealing with so many people mm -hmm. And now uh, when he became sick initially, now that then I had him was sick again. Even when I was coming, he told me, really, really sick because it's been sick. Yeah. Because what happens to the body when you don't have that? Because even me, I was here. Yeah. Let me tell you, yes. you've seen me. I've never had that since I came in Nyabuhansi. Yes. And I sleep only for three hours. What, what does this fatigue do to the body? Okay, you know, uh, uh, your body works like a, like a machine rather than an engine. You mm -hmm. see? When you have a walk, your, your, your body, mm -hmm. rather when your body really works so much, it exhausts a lot of things needed for your body to run, like energy, of course. <laughs> and a lot of things. Now when you, when you deplete your energy or rather you overwork your, your, your body, mm -hmm. it now becomes susceptible. Susceptible is at risk of getting something. Mm -hmm. So it becomes susceptible to infections, mm -hmm. it becomes susceptible to any illness. Mm -hmm. So even when you get a, a bite or rather a, a flu, just exposed to something, it, it makes your body, and then you see when you become that uh, fatigued and uh, a lot of things, you start becoming weak, mm -hmm. you start becoming unproductive. Mm -hmm. That, that's when the problem starts now. You start feeling a couple of dehydrations, uh -huh. a couple of headaches, uh -huh. and that's how things come about. Because okay. your body is now weak and it's now susceptible to diseases or uh -huh. infections. Now, what's the, what's the remedy towards that fatigue? How, how uh, do you recover? Okay, of course, you need to have more rest. Uh -huh. uh, when you're strained or rather you're having uh, too much activities, yeah. you uh -huh. need to keep on resting at least to give your body energy, uh -huh. more energy, uh -huh. to rejuvenate at least. Uh -huh. You need to eat. You need to rest is very important for your body so uh -huh. that at least you can regain more energy uh -huh. so that your body can keep on running. Uh -huh. But if you 
if you if you overwork yourself uh-huh. you make your body now weak fatigued and you now become at risk of yeah. getting problems or other diseases uh-huh. so that's how it happens uh-huh. that's how it happens uh-huh. yeah. Uh, yeah so far how is marwa right now uh-huh. in terms of health yeah has the fatigue depleted yeah. now yeah. the fatigue is over yeah. 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 yeah okay so marwa is doing great right now uh-huh. uh, he has really is more than 90 99% healthy now uh-huh. uh, but he needs more rest uh-huh. because uh, the party was really making him strain a lot uh-huh. and he was making him very 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 maybe weak it was contributing to his weakness because he's overworking at the same time uh-huh. he's is not really well you see oh, uh-huh. so i can say for now he's having enough rest uh-huh. uh, he received medical treatment of course uh-huh. he's really really doing fine uh-huh. and uh, everything is okay okay yes but we still have to monitor him uh-huh. so okay okay yes, because i am very sure when he starts traveling yes he never said to send this 6 8 months yes, up yes, yes. so he no, needs to Maru be is an active guy yeah yeah this guy is always on the move yeah. on the move and he's always he's just hyperactive yeah yeah so sometimes can be very very if you don't get rest in between uh-huh. Uh-huh. your body can really uh, feel some type of yeah. pain. Where was your office? Because over there I see a medical yeah. emergency. This is my office. You can take you and see my office. Okay, okay. This is super, super exclusive. Yes, sir. And we have a warning on the door. Let's see what's on the yeah. door. Medical emergency room. This is a medical emergency Plus. room. Plus. Restricted entry. This yes. looks like your handwriting. Yeah, this is my entry. <laughs> you no, know, what was happening? Yeah. A lot of people were coming during the party. Yeah. Most people were, you know, this was an open place. Yeah. So people would feel like this is a good place to chill. Oh. So when people just come there and, and they make stories and just chill and ask them to charge their phones, mm-hmm. forgetting that this is an hospital. Okay. Rather an emergency room. Did, did you have this ticker on the door then? No, we only had this. Oh, the we medical. This, eh? yeah. But now people are now coming in and all the a patient comes in and finds all the seats full mm-hmm. people are just chilling and making stories mm-hmm. so we had to restrict that mm-hmm. and we had to put this here restricted entry no idling only patients yes. by villa management yes. so somebody will come, will come and they don't even open mm-hmm. he says ah they <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. it is not becoming better for us and yeah. it is making the environment very conducive for oh. patients and yeah. us and yeah. medical providers i was seeing some uh, the blue uh, screens yeah those the blue screens where yeah. were they uh, are they still here no 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 so those are some of the equipments that were provided by to us by moshi medical okay. center which mm-hmm. is an hospital in uh, Nyabuhanze, Nyabuhanze. Was our partner in uh-huh. terms of providing equipment uh-huh. and they were providing us with one nurse every day. Okay. They were providing us with one nurse during the day uh-huh. and one nurse during the night. Okay. Yes sir. Whose idea for whose idea was it? The medical of course uh, yeah. the committee plus of course Marwa. Okay. And then again you see when you're hosting a lot of people uh-huh. you're having more than a, a crowd of course you expect one or two problems. Yeah. So you might expect some illnesses you uh-huh. might expect people to get annual yeah. so it was better for them to have an easy access to medical services okay okay yes, sir. now can we go in yes we can let's go in this is super super exclusive i'm not patient enough but <laughs> let me be patient right, enough no, it's really, uh, yeah it's really okay okay yes sir yeah so some of my genes yeah but so this, yeah. give me the perspective of how this goes so i'm a patient right. and uh, i have a problem and yes. i've just walked in this door yes, i first meet So when you come in, uh-huh. you first uh, get a consultation table which was here. So this was like a consultation table. This was a consultation table here where uh-huh. your doctor was sitting. Mm-hmm. But first, before mm-hmm. getting here, mm-hmm. I can say, you can, you can first start here, mm-hmm. but again, there was this thing. Okay. Triage. What's the meaning of this thing in a hospital? Triage. triage area. A triage area is where when a patient arrives in a hospital, mm-hmm. he gets his or her vitals checked. Vitals? Yes. What are vitals? Vitals are things like your blood pressure, mm-hmm. your temperatures, mm-hmm. your pulse rates, mm-hmm. your heart rate, and mm-hmm. that to mm-hmm. see how the state of how, how bad are you or rather first. Let's see how your body is mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. you telling us what's the problem. Yeah. So that's where the triage area is area for nurses. So for nurses, most okay. of the time is where nurses mm-hmm. will be. Mm-hmm. Now when nurse acts, really accesses you, mm-hmm. sends you to the doctor. Okay. So we come here. So we, this was you here? Yes, this was me. Mm-hmm. The doctor's consultation table mm-hmm. is where now I see the patient. Mm-hmm. I tell you, she tells me what the problem is. Mm-hmm. I get to, yes, I get to see the patient, mm-hmm. diagnose the patient, mm-hmm. and formulate a treatment, for the, a treatment plan for the patient. Okay. Now after here, mm-hmm. the patient will come into this place. There's a reason you know the screen now was oh there yeah this is the yeah here okay okay this, call, this place is called an injection mm-hmm. or a 
dispensing area, okay, okay. rather observation area mm -hmm. or examination area. Okay. So here we had a bed. Okay. A bed, bed. An examination bed. An examination bed. Mm -hmm. Provided by the hospital. Also. Provided by motion. Motion. So here is where we, we will access the patient further. Mm -hmm. The patient needs some bed rest. Mm -hmm. The patient needs some medication like IV medication. Yeah. All was done. Mm -hmm. Our tray was here. Yeah. Our tray where we put our medication. Yeah. And everything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it was here of course for any, if there's any relative, any mm -hmm. friend, any mm -hmm. person accompanying the mm -hmm. patients. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, supplies, uh, some of our medical supplies. These are some of the supplies. Yes. Yeah. These are some of the remaining supplies. Mm -hmm. I'm using it over here. Oh. Just have some few things. Mm -hmm. And these are some of the medical supplies that I brought by myself. Okay. So, yeah. Oh my! You so, have planned everything. Yes. You thought about it. Yes. What? A moving hospital. It is a moving hospital. This. Uh, how do you call the, the emergency rescue? Emergency ER services. ER services. Emergency, emergency response. Yeah, services. yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. So that and, is me. Yeah. Right now. And you did this purely volunteer, no? Pay. Yeah, this is a pure volunteer. In fact, I left my job and came here. Okay. Yeah. So, did you tell them you are leaving? Or yeah, what? I told them I'm going somewhere for a month. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a third mission, mm -hmm. which I'm going to do some medical work over there. Yeah. So maybe they find someone to hold on my position for the okay. meantime mm -hmm. as I. When I come back, we resume. Okay. But I don't know when I'm going back. Why? Because I want to be a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So did Maru also get a chance to be teacher here? Uh, or you go to his room? Maru didn't really get a chance to be teacher here. Mm -hmm. uh, because he, he didn't really feel... The fact that he, he has only felt sick twice. Mm -hmm. one, one just before the party. Mm -hmm. And another one now at the end of the party. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I can say the last time he didn't come here, but I went to his place to manage him there. Oh, but of course, he received treatment from this place, okay. Uh, medicine and everything was from this place, oh, okay. At least we had everything from this place, yeah. Yes, sir. And, and I know you are not working alone, so we mm. want to give credit to yes, the people sir. who yes, you sir. so this is the moment, yeah. Right. Uh, I don't know them, I know only Jamie, yes. Uh, so, one, uh, of course, Moshi Medical Center. Mm -hmm. Moshi Medical Center provided us with all these equipment that we're using over here. Mm -hmm. Those blood pressure machines, mm -hmm. the tables, mm -hmm. the beds, mm -hmm. the screens, and some other, a lot of other medications, medicines. Mm -hmm. They provided us with that. Mm -hmm. And nurse. And a couple of nurses. So, I can remember there was Nurse Delphi. Mm -hmm. there Delphi, was nurse, shout out. Nurse Douglas. Douglas. Uh, no, Douglas as a, as a YouTube channel. Okay. The only Konyagi. The only Konyagi. Yes. Oh, that was a very, a very controversial name. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I remember Konyagi. Marwa uh, asking me, why only You know Konyagi is yeah, a drink. It's a drink. Yeah, why? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> why? It's a, yeah, this one doesn't. Yeah. The only Konyagi. Mm -hmm. You have uh, Nas Faith. Nas Faith also has a channel. Okay. Uh, and that's called Nas Faith. Support them, guys. Uh, yes. We have uh, Sam. Sam. Sam Nas. He doesn't have a channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, Alfayo. Alfayo. So those are five. Five, five people yes. are here, all volunteering. Yeah. No, the, all the, those, those, those ones were paid. Oh, the, oh those ones were paid. paid for, uh, personnel from Moshi were paid mm -hmm. every day. Okay. So yeah, those were them. And then here we had Jamie. Mm -hmm. It's underscore Jamie. Yeah. And of course, why not Kile? Yeah, I, I, Jamie was saying she is still uh, to finish her study. Yeah, 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 I hope she gets all the necessary support yes. so that she finishes her study. Yeah, sure, she sure. She hasn't finished the studies yeah. yet. Yeah. But she's yet to finish. Come. Oh, you want to, maybe, you want to look for something here? Unanga tafta kitu? Okay, okay. So, as we finally, let's go to finish uh, in style. Okay. On this other end, we're leaving this uh, place. Yes, sir. So, now that you said you're going back, are you going to resign for your, from your job or what's your plan moving forward? So, uh, bro, as I said earlier, I'm a very compassionate guy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I really, really love my profession. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I want to be putting down all my tools of work. Mm -hmm. But I'll continue working in my profession, mm -hmm. but as a YouTuber now, you oh. see. Mm -hmm. So, what my plan is, uh, I'll be offering my medical services mm -hmm. around uh, some many communities, mm -hmm. uh, especially the struggling communities, like the pastoralist communities. Okay, okay. I'll be trying to offer my medical services to kids, Mm -hmm. The girl child, mm -hmm. the elderly. Mm -hmm. As I document and show you uh, how health is a very, very important and it's very uh, inaccessible again yeah. in those deep, deep areas. Yeah. So I'll be getting into them. Mm -hmm. I'll be the doctor getting into the community. Mm -hmm. 
As I document to you guys, I'll show you what is happening in those areas. Oh, okay. So for that, I love maintained my profession, mm -hmm. which I really, really love. Because mm -hmm. when you work, when you get employed in these fields, mm -hmm. you're not paid well, but yeah. these pays are less, mm -hmm. and yet you are really doing a lot. Yeah. So I better work for I better work for the people, mm -hmm. and uh, YouTube get to pay me for documenting what I will be. Yeah, and uh, and this time I would like you to uh, promote your channel. All right. Yeah. So take it away. So what's up, guys? This is Kibe, of course, the doctor around this place, mm -hmm. rather the doctor. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dr. Compassion will be my new name, of course. Oh, Dr. Dr. Compassion? Yes. Okay, Dr. so you Compassion. want to change the name? No, 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 no. Oh. I'm my name. But Maybe just, just a, a tag. Yes, a, a tag, tag line. Yes, because I'm, I'll be doing my doctor. I'll be offering my medical services for free. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh. So, yeah, guys, kindly check me out. Mm -hmm. I get a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, a new YouTube channel. It's almost two months old. Mm -hmm. A month and a, a week old. Hey, Dr. Compassion? Yes. Okay, no. so why not Kibe? Why not Kibe? Yes. And now, so not two, just one? One. one. Okay, okay. Why not Kibe? Mm -hmm. This is my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So guys, kindly come check me out. Mm -hmm. um, follow my videos, watch my videos, mm -hmm. subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, come as we get to the journey of that mission, starting that mission, mm -hmm. helping the community. Mm -hmm. And I uh, hope it will be amazing, guys. Yeah. Yes, uh, and because we are inside the Villa Medjid, we move this side as we wind up. What do you think about this space? What do you think about this villa? Yes, sir. Uh, about uh, this uh, beautiful, beautiful yes. mansion. This, this villa is a story of success. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see it's, a, it's an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing thing. Mm -hmm. And, and you, you see such a thing, you just admire it mm -hmm. because this is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. You get, don't get to see such structures in Africa. Yeah. These are the structures we see in Miami, mm -hmm. the structures we see in Florida over yeah. there. So it's very, very, it's a, it's a, it's a story of success. Yeah. You see this place, you see mm -hmm. success. And yeah. it really encourages us to work hard mm -hmm. and uh, to reach this situation, this yeah. position. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is an amazing place. This is an amazing space. Mm -hmm. It's a five-star place. Yeah. And uh, we really encourage everybody to work hard. We really want to have such a thing. Yeah. And uh, it's amazing. It's amazing. We're really enjoying this villa, this this place. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah. Yes. And uh, that was very, very uh, good for you to highlight so that uh, we inspire the yes. next generation to achieve greatness. Yes. Now, because you have a very deep voice, mm -hmm. I want you to say these words. Okay. This is a noto in China. This is a noto in China. Oh man, do you do voiceovers? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, one more time. This is an auto in China. This is an auto in China. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate well, all the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless you too. Yeah, all the best. And I'm glad you've been able to do it. Yes, sir. I, I was looking forward to do it, but now you have done yeah, it. it's done. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And it's bro. been a pleasure because you will feature and you and Rosa and Cabrera. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, guys. So uh, thank you so much for okay. the support. Okay. Thank you so much for featuring me into this amazing channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, guys, kindly check on Anoto in China. Yeah. Subscribe to his channel. Mm -hmm. Share his videos. Mm -hmm. Like and comment. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Peace. Until next time in China, we say she she zaija. She 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 zaija. She she zaija. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. See you. Okay. Bye bye. Right. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay. Okay, maybe it was a uh,
China.
Ne vas kako putra? Usiende mali. Si ni kule kwanza. Eh. Nasema ni kule kwanza. Sawacha niambie msichana ni sawa baba. Eh. Eh. Tutengeneze video eh ya kutoka hapa eh mpaka huko eh ni kupatia wana hawa kesho kesho utakuwa leo ndio siku yangu ya mwisho acha niambie dem na siwezi acha niwaambie postpone kukula ni kiasi tu wasi kwa sasa